People are constantly giving information about themselves. A language beyond words is written all over our bodies. All sensations that leave an impact on you comes from the energy a certain person reflects on you. <clears throat> Every day we perceive people through their simple actions and probably the same is happening to us. So what can leave a good impact? We've probably been in a situation where we first met somebody and wanted to make, um, want to leave a good impression, but failing badly, or maybe the other way around. Um, met a person that left a bad impact on you, but end up realizing after quite some time, they're great, they're not that bad. But in life, we'll be put in situations when we won't have much time to introduce yourself. We'll be put in situations when we have to convince, convince strangers that we're a good fit for a certain position in a very short amount of time. So good impressions are really useful and important. A speech in which we tell a story worth sharing is more than just spoken words. It's the tone you adjust to reinforce your message. It is the voice you choose to speak up is the facial expressions, it's the gestures that emphasize your, emphasize your point, and it's your stance in, your, in the room. Um, but most importantly, it's the energy you bring that reflects your self-esteem, your confidence, and even your problems. Self-esteem is a journey we go, uh, building a self-esteem is a journey we go through our whole lives. Confidence, confidence is just like a muscle. We have to train it in order to grow. But the first step in this journey might be controlling our thoughts. I know it's not easy said, easy done. Though many people have so little control over their reactions, minds and bodies, which could lead to some trouble. By minimizing the unwanted thoughts, we can achieve more of our goals. The law of attraction is a great example of how strong our reflections are. I might add the making some changes on our actions can affect our mental health. Listening to nice music can boost our mood whether it's painting artworks, reading novels, or even practicing sports. Doing what we love creates a passion. And it's great to remind of ourselves of what we're good at. Discovering, trying new activities is a way to discover more about yourself. Nobody's better at everything. Find a group, join a community, there is a place for everyone out, out there. And if you can find it, perhaps create it by creating a club or even running a blog online. Share your awesome ideas with others. Uh, moreover, we can also make some changes uh, in our environment getting like getting rid of negative people and want and unnecessary objects bad habits do more with your life and don't settle for normal challenge yourself <laughs>